What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and here I've got the new iPad Pro once again, and I've done a drop test, a bend test, it's proven to be quite effective at being durable, but how does this thing fare in the water? So I've got a foot of water here, and I wanna see when uh, subjecting the iPad Pro to water, how will it fare? How long will it last submerged under a foot of water, just regular tap water right here, we're gonna drop this guy in here and uh, see how it does. So this thing doesn't have any sort of waterproofing or water resistant capabilities, but I still wanna see if you're in the bath, you drop it while watching something, how is this thing gonna fare? Are the ports gonna work? Is the camera gonna work? Just in general, if it does survive, what works or how long will it survive in a foot of water? All right, so here's the iPad Pro in all its glory. Uh, it's the Titanic of all iPads. Let's see if it's unsinkable. Well, it's absolutely beautiful device, and this is fully working, not the one I bent and dropped before. So anyways, I've got a nice documentary on octopuses right here with the speakers fully blasting. Let's see how long this thing survives underwater. And I'm going to start the timer on the iPad Pro over there on the left at the same time. So here we go. Man, a little nervous here, but foot of water. It's got a decent amount of pressure on it. Let's see what it can do. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, speakers are out already. Or maybe I just can't hear them. So I'm gonna leave this thing under there, let it bathe, see what happens and how long this thing survives for. Now, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus actually have a rubber seal inside around the display, but this one doesn't have anything like that, so I'm really curious to see how it survives or if it will. Uh, looks like the video is no longer loading. Um, obviously can't tap to retry underwater. Disappointed, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen. So I think, yeah, we lost Wi-Fi reception underwater. Interesting. But let's keep going and uh, see what happens. This is usually something that always happens with phones I put underwater. They lose either cellular reception or Wi-Fi even Bluetooth sometimes stops working. But you know, that's the point of this video. I wanna see what works after a prolonged dunk and what doesn't. So the iPad Pro is starting to freak out the water seeping inside. Siri's been activated, the app switcher. You know, this is definitely a sign of water damage. You know, usually if you notice your iPad drops in the water, you take it out right away. But I just wanna see prolonged exposure to the water. So uh, some stuff is going on, but it seems that uh, the display still works. I was able to use the home button and all is well at four minutes. Okay, so the iPad just reset and now that it's on a white background, you can see there's uh, a bunch of things going on right now with the backlight. You can see some striping in there. Definitely at this point in time, not a good thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this thing back. It just keeps getting stuck on Siri not available because the home button isn't working. We're just gonna let it sit some more and uh, see what happens. All right, so around seven minutes, I'm gonna take this guy out because it appears to be dead, but it keeps restarting. So we're gonna see if we can revive it and get it working. If it is, we'll put it back in. But at this point in time, uh, it seems like that's it. Oh, all right, so we do have life. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing working. I'm gonna try and get as much water out of it beforehand. But at seven minutes, oh, there's a lot of water coming out of there. Dang. So let's see if I can get as much out of there as possible. Oh, okay. The display still works, so it has turned on. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this to turn Siri off. That is a little annoying. All right, turn off. But over here, man, you can see all that. Uh, seeping right there in the display. So there definitely is water in between the display. Oh my gosh. But music app still works. Cool. Wow, it's quite interesting. So uh, display is starting to get dim in some areas and the home button doesn't work. Oh. No, it's restarting again. Backlights going haywire. Is that it? I need to get some more of this out. Man, that's a lot of water. Oh. Dang, when did this have time to get in there? Seven minutes, this thing is completely waterlogged. 
you know you should never be trying to power them on after but this thing has so much water in it still i'm trying to get all of it out but i can't all right so we got life again maybe i got enough out of there but nope doesn't want to stay so let's see if we can get this thing working at all i just want it to turn on over here, the bleeding is starting. It's coming in from all areas now. So I think seven minutes is really uh, all that it takes. So the power is working. There is an Apple logo. It's the backlight that's completely gone out. At this point in time, this thing looks unusable. I'll try and charge it to turn it on, but I don't think it'll help. It's still water coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, this thing really holds a lot of water. Oh, there we go. Third time's a charm or 10th time, nothing yet. So I'm gonna try and power it on using the charger, something you should definitely not do, but let me go ahead and try doing that. We still have water coming out. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, so something you should definitely not do. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, see if it helps uh, get this thing turned on all the way. Uh, oh my gosh. Do we have life? Should be turning on possibly. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so power and home buttons do not work. They're both being affected. This thing keeps tripping but look at that so that is all the bleeding going on i even have a wi-fi signal now cool so unexpectedly this thing did spring to life but at this point in time i mean it's mostly unusable the backlight is really on and off you know i'm seeing it right now it's working uh home button is oh it is functioning huh it was on and off as well power button the same thing so backlight is the first thing that's going to go out the touch sensor is surprisingly durable it's still working and the lcd itself uh, was not damaged it's just the backlight in order to make it work so i'm thinking if this was an oled display it would be a lot more uh, water resistant overall though i can't say i'm surprised <laughs> and there it goes so if you do drop your ipad pro in the water probably won't work for more than seven minutes that's what i got in about a foot with this iPad Pro. So I see the Apple logo, it keeps restarting. Sometimes the backlight works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, that's it, it's finished after seven minutes, about seven minutes in the water. So definitely take care using this thing around the bathtub if you guys are gonna be watching movies in there, or if you're using this in the toilet, be careful. Anyways guys, have a great day, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the drop and bend test of the iPad Pro. But this thing is absolutely wonderful, I feel terrible for having to do this, but that's what happens when you put this guy in a tub full of water. Peace.